Hello, in this section we're going to be looking at some of the key external features on the DAF LF. And one of the best ways to do this is to incorporate the seven point walk round check. Firstly, moving up to the vehicle, checking that it's sitting square and that there's no evidence of fluid leaks down on the floor. Accessing the windscreen is made easy using the two steps and the two well-appointed grab handles, making easy access to the screen and allowing you to check the condition of the wipers. Moving down to the main lights, we have side lights, headlights and the option of a daytime running light. And below this, we have the fog lights with the option of the low level cornering light. Now the low level cornering light will only activate with the indicator on and at low speeds, and it will only illuminate the area which you're turning into. So it's worth remembering at this point that somebody may mention that you have a bulb out. With the lights on and when you're reversing, both low level cornering lights will come on to give you good illumination at low level. Underneath the grill, access by pulling here. And you can see the header tank, clearly marked minimum and maximum. And below this, you have the screen wash. Next to this, you have the dipstick. And here you have the oil filler, should you need to top up with oil. And it's worth keeping an eye on the air filter indicator, because should this turn red, you may encounter problems further on down the road. Okay, so let's take a look at the near side. You have the cab tilt pump, and the bar for this is in the tool roll inside the cab. Now remember to store away any loose items before you tilt the cab. Whether right or left-hand drive vehicle, the cab tilt pump is always located on the co-driver's side. Moving down, behind the aluminium side guard is the battery box and the fuel tank with a lockable cap. Moving down to the side, checking tyre condition and wheel security. Moving around to the back of the vehicle. On your LF, you may have the in-house designed box or curtain sided body. These are factory built to ensure the highest whole vehicle quality standard. In this instance, we've got the curtain sider with ratchets either end and double opening rear doors. In addition to this, we have the one and a half ton tuck under towel lift, which for driver convenience can be operated using the outside switches or the wander lead once the cab isolator has been engaged. To operate the towel lift, press lower to unfold. You also have the addition of the load safety stops either side. And when you finish using the towel lift, simply fold and stow away. Checking conditions of lenses and lights, which in this case are low energy, long life LEDs. Moving down the offside, again, checking tyre condition and wheel security. Add blue tank, clearly identified by the blue cap. Next to this, we have the Engine After Treatment System, or EAS, with a low velocity diffuser, and we'll be looking at this in more detail in the regeneration section. Checking the lights is made easy, no need to call on a colleague, simply press and hold this button here for a count of two. The self-light check will activate, giving you plenty of time to check the vehicle. To cancel this light sequence, press and hold for two. To unlock the driver's door, press this button here and hold for a count of two. And if you wish to unlock the passenger door at the same time, before the light sequence completes, press and hold the button again for a count of two. Remember, if you fail to open either of these doors within 30 seconds of unlocking, they will self-lock. <laughs>